Howdy folks, I'm a few days late to the party on this one, but I figured it's better uh, late than never to help in spreading the word that Heasoft version 6.30 is out now. Uh, you can go ahead uh, to this link in the description down below. I'll also leave a link to the release notes, which we'll be going over in a few moments. Uh, but you could go ahead and download and install this. I'll highly recommend anybody uh, upgrade to the latest, most up-to-date version of Heasoft to take full advantage of everything that goes on with it. Before I dive into any of the details, though, uh, let me f give a quick disclaimer that I'm not affiliated with NASA, the Goddard, or Marshall Space Flight Centers, or any space flight centers. Uh, any of the NASA missions or anything like that. I'm an independent researcher who uses this software as well as uh, data gathered with these missions to facilitate my own research and work in astronomy and astrophysics. That being said, let's discuss some of the uh, release notes and, and some of the big changes. I'll encourage anybody to go through and read through this. I'm just going to highlight a few of the big things that I want to highlight here the big reason or the big release of or the big reason or the the, the biggest release with uh heatsoft 6.30 is new software for the new mission ixpe i was very excited about ixpe launched in uh december of 2019 uh and their data archive is now open so you can go ahead and start to mess with some of their data and start to read through some of the different uh, user guides and things like that. And so a bunch of the tools right here, uh, including a bunch of Python tasks, are out with Heasoft 6.30. Now, I know uh, I, me being a big, uh, nicer analyst and a lot of my content being nicer-related content, I know plenty of you are going to be worrying about that, so we'll talk about nicer in a moment. But there's also some pretty substantial changes uh, to software with Swift's UVOT. I don't use UVOT. I've only ever used the XRT and just very briefly. So uh, if you're a Swift UVOT analyst, uh, you're going to want to read through this, and uh, I'll, I'll just strongly suggest that you do that. Um, other than a bunch of uh, bug fixes and uh, performance improvements of, and things like that, there isn't really too much to highlight other than that there are some new models in XPEC. Okay, you can take a look th at these three uh, new models. Uh, so... If you're going to want to use those, again, you should read up on those models before doing so. But now let's get uh, to NICER. Uh, so on NICER's homepage, I will encourage everybody to go there if you are not subscribed to the NICER Announce uh, email list. So if you are a NICER analyst, I'll strongly uh, suggest that you go ahead and subscribe or sign up to this email list because there's a lot of really valuable information. This is where I first heard of Heasoft 6.30 coming out and some uh, more information about NICER, which first, before I discuss anything to do with NICER, uh, let me congratulate uh, Keith... Uh, I I always butcher these guys' names, so I'm not gonna not, not gonna do that. I'm just gonna say Keith and Zavin. I don't know them on a first name basis, but I don't want to disrespect them by butchering their names. Uh, but to Keith and Zavin, congratulations on winning the Rossi Prize, as well as congratulations to the whole Nicer team. Uh, Nicer won the Rossi Prize for those of you guys that don't know, so congratulations to them. Nicer's a fantastic mission. It's my favorite mission to uh, missions data to work with, and so just big big congratulations. Congratulations uh, to to the whole nicer team and, and Keith and Zavin. Okay, uh, but anyways, I'll encourage you to sign up for that list because we'll discuss a quick email there. Anyways, but in the release notes, you can see that there's some changes to nicer L2, uh, nicer ARF, and nicer prefilter two. Uh, nicer prefilter two mainly has some uh, performance improvements. Now, the NICER team, in the latest email that they sent out via that announcement list, said that they don't recommend reprocessing any of your NICER data, which I'm very, very happy to hear because I've had to do that before, seeing that I've gone through uh, masses of uh, NICER data before. 
So just uh, bear that in mind. If you're a nicer analyst, you're not going to need to reprocess anything if you were processing stuff with all the patches and everything with Hesoft version 6.29. The real big thing is just the performance improvements, so you'll see some faster speed up times with the nicer pre-filter 2. Uh, you'll also see some performance improvements to nicer L2. But other than that, that's really it. Uh, if you guys are new here or you want uh, just another outlet for where you might be able to hear if any patches come out, consider subscribing. If you like astronomy, astrophysics, math, kind of content you can explore on my channel and see if you might want to subscribe uh but other than that uh i will thank you very much for watching hopefully this was a quick little useful video for all of you and i hope to see you again next time